Okay, so this is my WS2812 LED strip, and um, if you can see on the very end, um, we unsoldered the um, end terminals, and it's kind of damaged, and because it's damaged, I'm, a, I'm not quite sure if operation is going to be um, as I want it. So um, the nice thing about this is that we can easily replace them. So the first thing um, in the string, so I need to have a total of 15. So if I count out, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And so both the uh, ends are kind of questionable because um, I think they were unsoldered from another project. This one seems okay. I think I can use that. The pads are still there. But uh, the pads on this end are, um, the data out is actually damaged, and I'm not sure if the pad is operational. So I'm going to cut it off and replace this particular chunk. So when you cut these strips, what you're going to do is that you find where there's um, in between two pads, and there's a line there, and you're just going to cut right here. So if you take a look, that's the one I cut off, and now I have a fresh, um, fresh background right here. All right, so I need to replace this particular pixel, and uh, luckily I have kind of a shorter version of this. Here we go. Here's one decent pad so I'm just going to select one of the end units and I'm going to cut it off right. so uh, the next thing to do is to go in the back of this particular being it is a sticky strip and what we're going to do is we're going to bend the sticky strip exactly to be um, just a little bit back, show you, okay? And we're going to cut this particular strip at the halfway mark where the little dots are inside of the pad. Okay, so you see I've sliced that. And then I'm going to take this the one that I'm joining to, and I'm going to align the two strips, but I'm going to place this underneath the sticky strip so they fit together. They kind of create a, so you can't almost tell. There you go. See that? So the only thing I will caution you is that sometimes when you're doing this, let me see if I can undo this. Um, if you just look at the dots, um, if you notice, the characters are all upside down. But if I stuck it like this and I soldered it, you actually have two conflicting directions since this is a directional LED. It's an LED, so it's directional. So um, make sure the arrows, luckily they marked the arrows on here. Make sure the arrows are in alignment before you solder. All right, so let me go back. Okay, there we go. Almost like new. Can't almost tell. All right, so now we're going to make sure the connection stays solid. So I'm using the scissors as a weight. Add some solder and a soldering iron. Okay. Um, be a little bit gentle with uh, leaving the solder too long the soldering gun too long on the strip. You want to do it as quickly and as efficiently as possible because you could possibly burn out the pixel from the heat. All right, so we have, um, I've put all the connections to back together. It's nice and solid. Uh, if you want to clean things up a little bit, you can use um, some scissors and trim this particular uh, piece of uh, backing but it's um, a seamless 
And so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ta-da!